Only Cancer Sun, Aquarius Moons, welcome to your 2021 Sun Moon reading. If this resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email when you see it is when you were meant to view it. It doesn't matter the time of year. So check out my 2020 Sun Moon reading predictions that are still in my playlist and see if they are coming true for you. I'm doing these in the order of requests and comments, so be sure to post yours up. The way these readings go is that I go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination and then I'll lay out the main cards and we'll look at your 2021 what's going on for your 2021 we'll take a quick look sorry second portion of this reading reading will be the video link below where i'll have pull clarifiers we'll have a deeper interpretation of the cards i'll be dividing the year up into four separate sectors other things to mention check out your ideal career based on your midheaven sign which is in my playlist also in my playlist is what is your compatibility with your partner's sign sun sign that's a work in progress Ask me a question on Instagram, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, let's get to the trait of your sun moon combination. So, Cancer Sun, Aquarius Moons, you use your intuition to see into other people and to help them get to a better place if you can. Nothing about you is expected or ordinary, and you adapt easily to anything life throws at you, but you're too cautious to seek out risks. You tend to draw inspiration from others, and you shouldn't let others' influence control you. You have incredible luck and are assertive, but at times you can also be passive and a bit moody. In relationships, you will only be involved with people you implicitly trust. You don't just hand your heart over to anyone. Your ideal partner is someone who's emotional and can enjoy a home and family and has similar ideals. You are very, you are very, you are very attentive and nurturing lovers. Be aware of not being overly so and smothering your significant others. In a career, you often look for a career in science that can put your humanitarian efforts to good use. Law, politics, and social sciences often interest you. You're very moral and ethical in the workplace, and you never seek out confrontation and prefer to resolve office politics by other means. Let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, angels, divine God, universe, can you please spread your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Cancer, Sun, Aquarius, Moons for the year 2021. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to the divine? Through your messages for their greater good, any messages, please, for Cancer, Sun, Aquarius, Moons will be greatly appreciated. And we thank you for the year 2021. What do you see? What do they need to know? Can you please show me January, February, March? For Cancer, Sun, Aquarius, Moons. You have the Eight of Swords in reverse. April, May, June for Cancer, Sun, Aquarius, Moons. The Hierophant in reverse. Cancer, Sun, Aquarius, Moons. We have the Temperance card in reverse for July, August, September. Cancer, Sun, Gemini, Moons. We have the Hermit card in reverse. Okay, I think the theme for 2021 is people don't get you. Um... <laughs> You'll see as we go along. That's not the, the primary message. That's just kind of a feeling that I got. So we start off the year, Eight of Swords, in reverse, January, February, March. You have taken the time to reflect on how you used to do things in situations with people, with career, however it resonates for you. And you, you've kind of decided that you're going to change things. Um, you don't want to keep on doing things the way that you have been doing them. So um, you're releasing, you're liberating from the prison that you were form formerly in in 2020. So going about doing things differently, kind of mo moving forward without bringing the past with you. That brings us into April, May, June. Hierophant in reverse, which is the card is Taurus. This is where I feel like you are rebelling. You are doing kind of what you set out to do here. Here you're starting to really kind of put it into practice. So, um, you know, original ideas, things that you want to do, rebelling against authority, carving your own path, um, and, and, and all that good stuff. So I feel like, you know, if, if you're working someplace, you're not conforming to the traditional, you're being a little bit unconventional and saying, hey, why don't we do things this way? Why don't we think outside of the box? Why don't we this or that? Um, when it comes to a relationship, you might not want to be in a traditional relationship, something that's a little more open or something that, um, you know, not being in a commitment at all and just, you know, being whatever without a label or what have you. So July, August, September is where I sort of see that um, 
people it starts to be that people don't necessarily get that i feel like you're misunderstood this is the card of sagittarius that that resonates and i feel like what you're trying to do is be understood and and <laughs> whatever you can kind of do but it doesn't seem to be working for you you're trying to um, maybe turn people who think negatively of you and um, you know try to make things like a more positive environment or anything like that but you're having an inability to doing so just because you can't see a clear path on how to go about it or just because the environment's sort of working against you so your environment's going to be a little bit in flux um, in um, July August September and the hermit card in reverse has you during um, I was gonna say during the holidays that might resonate for some of you but October November December either you're deciding to kind of like shut yourself out away from other people or other people are kind of you know shutting you out but I, I feel like you're cutting yourself off from people and I'm getting a whole they don't understand me I'm misunderstood I'm tired of dealing with them you might be withdrawing that kind of is your Cancerian side sort of doing that um, kind of withdrawing licking your wounds um, I'm not gonna say sulking but just kind of like you just want to kind of get away from everybody you want to get away from um, support systems family friends um, you're being a little bit of loner um, in your workplace but the only thing I don't like about the Hermit card in reverse I mentioned this was the card of Virgo it is is that um, rather than using the time to kind of compliment, contemplate and enlighten and better yourself and meditate and all this other stuff it's just kind of cutting yourself off to cut yourself off you know that just just to kind of I don't want to do this anymore this is what I'm gonna do and then the whole time that you're cut off you're just kind of um, okay I will say sulking just withdrawing to withdraw taking yourself out of the game because you can so just kind of rethink how you kind of go about doing that I mean there's something that has to be said then sometimes I know you guys don't like um, you know confrontation or what have you but sometimes maybe you just need to say what needs to be said rather than just kind of withdrawing and disappearing you know poofing ghosting okay so that's what I have for you if it resonates consider a personal reading just send me an email we can set that up otherwise click on the Vimeo link below I'll be pulling these clarifiers we'll go into these cards in depth Check out your 2020 sun moon readings in my playlist. Check out your ideal career based on your midheaven in my playlist. And also in my playlist are what is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign. That is a work in progress. Ask me a question on Instinct Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, adios from Veronica Garnett. See you later. Bye.